What's going on guys? So hopefully I remember that I'm doing a live commentary throughout this video. It's always a little bit hard for me staying focused while doing these. As you can see, I'm kind of keeping my eyes a little bit everywhere. I'm used to live streaming. I'm always used to like checking chat and stuff like that. So I'm trying to keep my eyes focused on the camera and the TV and make sure everything's running smooth. But how are you guys today? It's hump day. Uh, we're going to probably just upload this video no matter what happens and have some fun before we go to work. I have to leave the house at about 8 40 so that gives me about 20 25 minutes to hopefully get a quick win here on the first game in so let's see what happens uh, it's 2018 guys it's 10 days into the new year i don't know if i've posted any videos for the new year or not i guess that's something i should have looked into before actually starting up the live commentary right so i'd have that fresh stat in my head but like i said i like jumping into these and doing the quick videos because they're really easy for me and the main topic about this is going to be my streaming slash video goals of this year. I think I feel like I say in every one of my videos that I hope to uh, stream more and, and post more videos and things like that. But the problem always comes down to having enough time to do so. And for me, I have time to do one of two things, either play or edit. And for me, I usually like playing games because it gives me the opportunity to spend time with my friends and have fun and actually experience the game. Where as editing and creating videos and you know live streaming, that is all you know entertainment work. It's a part of it is enjoyment, but a lot of that side of it is trying to grow my channel, grow my following, and entertain you guys, which obviously I love doing. So. It's, it's definitely, for me right now, um, mentally frustrating, and um, I think it's mainly because of a lot of the anxiety that I've naturally had over the years, just in my uh, normal life and, and things like that. And the reason I bring that up is because for me, it's really about a balance of time. And I've always had this issue or need to try and do everything you know, as accurate, as best as possible, um, make the best decisions, try to utilize my time, you know, um, and get the most out of it every single time. And when you're doing stuff like that, oh, I got it, thank God. Oh, he shot at me. Is he shooting at me with the pistol? I would kill him, but I want to get the shield. What did he get, anyway? I didn't see any other guns on the ground. And I don't know where he's running to. There's nothing... I guess he's going to Tomato Town. We'll leave him there. Anyways, like I said, so... I, I always have a rough time, you know, not feeling like I'm not making the best decisions for either myself or my family when I'm making videos or playing games and things like that. And it definitely eats away at me. And this year, I'm going to try to dedicate uh, more time to just growing and, and trying to, you know, deal with that in a different way that in the end makes it a little bit better for me. So I'm going to try to, you know, balance things out a little bit more and... Like I said, I just don't want to say this I'd, because I don't want to let you guys down. And that's one of the reasons why I'm taking the time to go over all this, like I said. But, you know, at the end of the day, I definitely don't want to, you know, continue to say I'm going to post more and then not, you know. Um, I want to make a commitment and stick to it. So I'm going to maybe be a little bit more precautious, um, you know, making statements and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel like at some point I definitely have to make the commitment uh, verbally and put myself out there in order to actually hold myself accountable for that stuff too. So, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just kind of going at it live here and, and throwing everything that I've always thought about out there and open for you guys. And I like hearing your guys' feedback as well. Kind of helps me know whether or not what I'm doing is right. So, alright. So now let's go back for that dude. Let's go to Tomato Town. We got some decent stuff. All right, so we got 53 people left. We got plenty of time left on the clock. Let's do this, boys. 
so like I said, for me, it's it's all about balancing the time that I have. And for me, sometimes I feel like I make decisions that aren't always what's best, and that's what drives me crazy, you know? But I think I'm going to go into this year more prepared for all that. You know, I do a lot of self-reflecting, and I, I do a lot of thinking to myself all the time anyways. So going over this with you guys out in the open definitely releases a lot of concerns I have and, you know, kind of filling you guys in on what's bothering me and what's going on, I think also gives you guys an idea of what I might be either struggling with or trying to, you know, handle and, and kind of what's going on. And in all honesty, I've always done a really bad job of um, keeping people informed about what's going on with my personal life. I'm not a big, I don't know if it's because of the way I was when I was earlier, um, but I'm a real big fan of in-person communications. So for me to talk to people over the phone or text or something like that, it it's difficult. Um, that's the easiest way I can put it. I don't, it's not that I don't enjoy it, but at the same time, it's just not how I prefer to communicate. And it's, it's really hard for me to keep up friendships and uh, conversations over like text messages and stuff. So I get a little bit um, jealous of people when they tell me about stuff like that. You know, that um, their friends have texted them all day or they, they've had conversations. And I have people that do that with me. But like I said, it's just when you're not a part of the daily routine it it seems like you have to go out of your way to keep these relationships going a little bit which is tough and you have to then decide if you want to spend more time pursuing friendships and, and keeping those going or if you're you know you're trying to to focus on your gaming stuff so there's all kinds of different things out there and i think 2018 is going to be a fun year to kind of experiment and learn and grow and develop throughout the year so I'm glad to have you guys on board for for so long already and I'm kind of excited to see what we're gonna be able to uh, accomplish this year because last year we we set our goals really high and they didn't uh, flourish the way we wanted them to but that's that's the thing for me that I've always tried to keep in the back of my head and I'd like to share that you know message with you guys is that a lot of people have, you know, several different philosophies on life. Some people will say you need to set your goals low so you're never disappointed. Some people will say you need to set realistic goals so that you can actually achieve them. And everyone's going to have their, their different philosophy on, on what they think is going to be best or what people think they should do. And for me, I'm just going to sit here and tell you that I don't know. Um, what I do know is that I think you, you should definitely experiment. I don't think there is any one great solution or idea, you know. Um, I don't know why I just wasted time getting those bullets. It's not like I didn't have enough, but so that that's where I'm gonna leave that. I hate getting caught in the storm. I didn't realize I was running the complete opposite way. It wasn't very smart of me to go that way. So this is going to be an interesting game. Like I said, I'm going to post it hopefully no matter what, but I'm definitely not making it an entertaining one. I could have killed that one guy right off the bat, but I ran away from him. And then now we're caught up in the storm just running for our dear life. Hopefully we see a med kit so we can at least get back up to 100 health. But I do sometimes prefer to be either in the storm or right on the skirts of the storm because people don't expect you to be there. People are more focused on being in the circle. I'm going to hit this. I have time. I'm already in this anyway, so. Look at that. And we don't see anyone in the open field in front of us, so. This should be interesting. It looks like someone built up right in front of us, so. We'll see if we run into anyone. I'm going to get one-shotted watch. I know it. And if you didn't know, if you run with your materials out, you run a little bit faster. Um, you just have to make sure that you have your you know, your toggle set on the, on the gun that you want so it goes right back through it. Like that. You can see I have it on the blue AR. But 
Ooh, this should be interesting. There's no bushes right outside the storm, which kind of sucks. I could build up, but at the same time, I just... I don't want to give away my position. So we're going to keep an eye out from behind me. And then we're going to mark. We definitely don't want to go through Loot Lake. Loot Lake is a fucking death trap every da damn time. And I... Oh, demonetized because I said a cuss word. Let's go. I'd be surprised if I didn't already cuss in this video. Is he just running away? Where is he going? He's building shit. Alright, we'll just leave you there, bro. I'm not trying to get it caught up in the storm. I think he has full shields, though, so that's what we do have to be careful of. We're kind of leaving our back exposed to him, but hopefully we'll use these trees and shit for cover. And just leave him in the dust. Some people would push him, and I would, but I don't want to spend 20, 30 seconds getting in a gunfight just to lose, or even if I win, I win, and then now I'm not only low on health or depending on what he has to drop i'm also fighting to get back out of the storm and i don't want to deal with that again so yeah he's behind me and we're about we're a good run away from the storm right now so shit we got one in front of us and we got the one behind us so hopefully this guy doesn't see us i need to get back up over the hill here because he's keeping an eye out for himself there he hasn't really checked my side yet and we're kind of catching up to him so this is going to be interesting I don't want to spend time turning around and looking at the guy behind me either because we have this guy in front of us. So we're going to try to get close to him and then we're just going to light him up real quick. There we go. So grab the bandages. Oh, I want that AR. Alright, now we'll worry about the guy that was behind us. So we got one kill. He's building down there. He's got himself a little fort. Let's go check this asshole out. He's going to have to run here in a second, so... Is there storm coming? What is this guy doing? Um... Did he leave a... Did he kill somebody or what's going on there? All right, that's really genuinely confusing. Can't tell. Nope, that's just a... I don't know what that is up there. Kind of looked like a guy for a second. Sit down, punk. I always hate messing up that ramp. He expects us to do this move here. This might be it, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye now if we die. And until next time, let's see what happens. Oh, he doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. Let's get that headshot in. Let's go. I'm telling you, people don't always play the smartest way in this game. Um, I definitely play it. I don't know. I think that's why I'm so lucky at getting kills and stuff in Call of Duty. Because I use different strategies than most people don't like i'll build shit and then run away and use that to distract you while i'm coming up behind you sorry i don't mean to be a dick like that but that's the way i'm gonna roll oh you had a legendary shotgun uh, i kind of want that sniper but at the same time i don't there's n four, nine people left let's go or technically eight right because i'm one of them we've gotten four kills in the past like 30 seconds boys and see, that's why, I don't know, a lot of people like flying into, like, the big cities and stuff like that right off the bat. And for me, I do sometimes, if I'm just trying to have some fun. 
but I usually like playing on the outskirts a little bit and racking up the kills that way, and, and you rack them up pretty darn quick, I'll tell you that. It looks like I got plenty of uh, material, so we might be able to build up here a little bit. Try not to waste too much of it, but... And it's not really wasting, it's just I like... Um, kind of like making the best out of it, if you know what I mean. Didn't want to do that, damn it. I definitely did not mean to do that, so don't make fun of me there. Right, he's building a giant ass fucking hut tower up there. So he's got all that. Oh shit, we got this guy coming to our right. I don't know if he saw us, but let's put shots into him real quick. So he's gonna be healing. Where did he come from? Should've knew that was gonna should have known that was gonna happen. I'm over here playing sloppy. We're trying to get wins, guys. No! I didn't stick the landing. I'm sliding down the side. Get out of here, bro. That is so weak sauce. Well, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you had fun. I got about 10, 15 more minutes before I need to head out to work, so I don't think I'll be able to get another match in here. How about let's just... Uh, Damn. Let's do a squad and let's just fly into a city and see if we can't fuck some shit up real quick. But kind of going back into the topic, guys. This is um, the thing with uh, live streaming, trying to make yourself known and the YouTube and the Call of Duty and Twitch and whatever you want to say, esports, video gaming industry. It's hard because there's not a set path or there's not... A lot of information out there about how to be successful and a lot of it is trial and error and a luck of the draw i'm so mad at myself i can't even focus on getting back to the commentary because i died that way like since when do you lose 100 health sliding down a mountain um so so upset right now but like i said guys it's uh it's going to be something different, and I'm going to still post a lot and play a lot, but I think I'm going to try this year to take a little bit more time and spend that time towards editing, because I really feel like uh, with this new year that that's where and what is going to help me grow the most, is just by um, posting more and stuff like that, so I'm going to try to keep myself committed to all that really want to go there that's where you want to go all right let's jump out then so uh damn two minutes already went by when we started this game so i don't know about you guys but i definitely have to hit the road to start getting ready to work so i definitely appreciate you guys checking out this video leave comments likes everything like that in the in the video that you normally would so that I know what you guys want to see and what's going to entertain you guys. So until next time, guys, I'm Papsy and I'm out of here.